you got kidnapped. Well, I didn't technically get kidnapped, but yeah, it was it was a very uh, interesting <laughs> thing. Right, well, that was... That's what I should have asked you. What the <laughs> fuck? How, how the fuck did you get kidnapped? So I got asked, obviously I have already done a lot of beauty pageants and they've yeah. all been fine. And I got asked to compete in another one that was going to be in Lebanon. And I was like, yeah, sick. I've never been there. Like, never, I had never been to a Middle Eastern country at that point. Yeah. Um, And it was set up for like June or something. And then June came along and it was postponed, which isn't abnormal for a beauty pageant because there's a lot of things that need to be organized. There's a lot of tickets that need to be issued for girls around the world and blah, blah, blah. So it got... Yeah. It got postponed for a few months and then, like, that came around. Then it got postponed again and it was postponed again and I was just like, all right, after a few times, you can understand a couple times and then after a while you're just like, what the fuck is happening? So I kind of forgot about it for a while. But my mum was like, I don't want you going to Lebanon. It's like, you know, a war-torn country and it borders with Syria and there's all this stuff going on. There's been bombings there and I don't think you'll be safe and blah, blah, blah. Because my mum can be a bit of a worry what sometimes. And I was like, typical back... Mom, you only live once. You can't live your life in fear. I'm going to do what it. I want. Just, Just wing, wing it, it. Like, you know, whatever. Nobody can tell me what to do. So I was like, yeah, cool. I'll go. And I finally got issued the tickets and I flew over there. I had a stopover. Um, I don't remember where it was, but I was waiting for my next plane. And I was at the time, my first boyfriend, I was with him for like six years. We stayed best friends. So I was talking to him and he was sending me photos of bombings that had been in Lebanon. And I was just like, it kind of hit me and I was like, where am I going? Like, this is a, like, you know, yeah, yeah. This, this does border with war torn countries and maybe I've made the wrong decision. I just, my stomach kind of sunk a bit and I was like, what am I doing? Um, and then I got there and it had been organized that a woman was going to pick me up from the airport and I was going to be taken to the hotel and blah, blah, blah. And my mom had said to me, okay, but don't get in the car with anyone else. Don't talk to any strange men. Make sure that woman picks you up from the airport and yeah. don't get in the car with anyone else. So I was like, yep, yeah, I promised her I wouldn't. I got off the plane and, like, I got rushed through passport control. Like, they didn't even stamp my passport or anything. It was super weird. And then I got taken upstairs to this room full of, like, big Lebanese men smoking, like, real serious. And I was like, where the fuck am I? And these two, like, burly guys got up and were like, you come with us. And I was like where's the lady that's supposed to be picking me up? Like I started panicking, like, oh, my God, what's going on? But I didn't want to say anything because yeah, these guys yeah. are huge Middle Eastern guys. And so they took me out the front into, like, this blacked-out Range Rover and um, we started driving. And I had obviously no phone reception because I had an Australian SIM and that, and so no way of contacting anyone. And I was in a totally foreign country and they turned around to me and they said, the organisers aren't coming anymore. Like, And I was like, what? what do you mean? Like, what, what? And I didn't want to say anything or whatever because I didn't know what was happening. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, there's no one else here. And they took they took me to a hotel. So I got to this hotel and there was supposed to be like 80 or 100 chicks or whatever competing from all over the world like there is in any beauty pageant. Yeah. And I was the only one there. Oh, I was the only one at this hotel. And did you just think like, I fucking won. <laughs> yeah. How good is this? I'm, I don't, I'm the winner. Yes. <laughs> No, I went upstairs and I was just like, fucking what's going on? And I locked myself in the bathroom and called my boyfriend at times, bawling my eyes out like, don't know what's happening. There's no one else here. So um, over the next like two or three days, another three girls turned up um, and then no one else showed up. So there was four of us in total there. We had no contact from the organisers. Like all our flights and everything had been paid for. So we didn't know why we were there. Like there was guys that um, we had – that I, I don't know if they had some part in it, like had been investors or something. Yeah. And um, they all carried guns, like they waved around guns, like it was just normal. One of the guys had a solid gold gun that was like Saddam Hussein. I've seen a photo with you with yeah, that. Yeah, it was Saddam Hussein's son's gun. Oh, dude, you do not want to mess with fucking yeah, and Uday was, and fucking yeah. Quasi. Yeah. No shit. So yeah, I didn't. I still to this day don't know what happened, but I. Like, they left us at the hotel. I didn't have any Lebanese money. I didn't have anything. Like, luckily, um, a nice taxi driver took me to the airport. Otherwise, I would have been – I didn't know if our flights home had been cancelled or what. So, um, we were left to fend for ourselves for a week. And I, I – obviously, I'm here. I can laugh about it now. I got I got back safe and I'm fine. But Dude, you would have been shitting. I got contacted by um, the New York Times first. And they were like, oh, you know, tell us about this and what happened. Rara. And then SBS here contacted me and wanted to do a story on it. And there was this – big thing like I think they were based in Pakistan and there was it was like they thought it was a botched kidnapping attempt 
Yeah. Or like, you know, it could have been like a prostitution ring or like something yeah, yeah. out of Taken or something. Yeah, fucking nice. Yeah. So it was obviously there was something weird going on, but it obviously hadn't turned out the way whoever had expected it to. And yeah. I still don't know what, what happened, but they were um, – posing as some like because it was called Miss World Peace and Humanity it was they were posing as some like human rights thing and like I don't know they'd set up like fake websites and using fake passports and this person had like already been known to like do other stuff yeah Yeah. I don't know it was it was a huge crazy thing but I I can't say what what was my intention of being there or because I still to this day don't know 